Recently, a masked gunman wearing full tactical garb tried to kill a bunch of innocent people in Dallas, Texas. Instead, he was shot, killed, and then made into a meme. <laughs> many, many memes. Active shooters, we're putting you on notice in this video. Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, I want to talk about two tangible ways that all of us, you know, everyone out there can help prevent all these wacko active killers from going on shooting sprees. So I'm going to be a little bit irreverent. It's calculated, it's by design, and I want to talk to that fact. So if that turns you off, understand, hey, I have, I have a plan here, and I think it's a pretty good one. I want you to weigh in in the comments as well to let you know. So before I jump into the two things, I want to relay the events. And also, guys, we got to let you know about Warrior Poet Apparel. I'm wearing it right here. Not only will it increase your sexiness by, what, how, what's the sexiness? 26%. 26%. Yeah. It can also increase your lethality by up to, do you remember the number? 31%. 31%. Varied results. Either way, Warrior Poet Apparel. Let's make sure we're violent in style, Roger. All right, so let's jump in and talk real quickly about the events that transpired just a couple of days back. A dude wearing a 1985 black SWAT team balaclava and the dorkiest tactical gear of all time tried, attempted to go on a shooting spree. Federal law enforcement ended up killing him, and uh, yeah, there you go. And then a bunch of savage memes popped up, which I thought were absolutely hilarious and great. I want to talk about two different tangible ways that we could help to prevent these in the future. The first one is recognize that the active shooter is after something very, very specific. They don't think like you or I. They're mentally deranged. These are unhealthy people and they really want your attention. They want us to pour through their background and their motives, their rage at the world, and they desperately want attention as they're socially awkward folks. And to be forever enshrined next to the innocent that's fine with them because you know Lee Harvey Oswald is forever enshrined by JFK. When I say Abraham Lincoln, you may immediately think John Wilkes Booth. And these guys were pieces of trash, preying on the innocent, terrorists. These, these are people that aren't deserving of mercy. And this is hard for me to say. I'm a man of mercy and compassion. I'm also a man of violence. And so as soon as you want to start shooting up little kids or you want to go shoot up a bunch of people who are just Sunday morning at church, yeah, that, those, are, those are no longer people that are, you know, in the rescue mentality. As you're butchering people, the only thing you deserve is swift, immediate pain and death. And then we want to make fun of you. And this is a calculated move. This is a calculated move because not only do we, number one, deny the active killers the attention they so desperately want, deny them that, uh, but we also want to make sure that as they are remembered, it's not with their name, it's not with their photos everywhere, it's them being an absolute joke. Nobody wants to be the butt of a joke, and these active killers, if they weren't so seriously taken and enshrined, but they were made into jokes or they were made to look pathetic, any of that stuff, that is not good PR, and it doesn't inspire more copycat crimes. And so my irreverence is a calculated PR move that absolutely would help in preventing active killers because the, you have to understand the psychological element of this. Deny them the thing they want attention, limelight, and instead if they must get attention, because some of these heinous crimes, they have to be addressed, let's at least call them scumbags and worthless, pathetic people, or make them into terrible memes, and therefore you start to quell a lot of the fires that, that might spread in terms of copycat crime. The second thing we can do is arm up, right? You should probably know very well that these guys prey on the innocent and people who can't defend themselves. So gun-free zone signs are absolutely not helping. He obviously chose a hard target because it was not a gun-free zone. And he got dirt napped by a single 9mm round in the chest. Well done, federal agent that dirt napped him. And good use of the words dirt napping, Sam. 
gun-free zone signs are not working, quite obviously. The best way to stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. And man, America is armed to the teeth. And it's up to us to be armed up and trained up. We're armed. And guess what? All of these active killers are 0% intimidating to people like me and the hundreds of thousands of followers in the Warrior Poet Society. And I would put any one of you guys up against these worthless, untrained scumbags walking around in this second-rate tactical gear. Of This guy just is pathetic. He deserves to be a meme. He deserves pain. He deserves death. And then he deserves to be the butt end of a joke like all the rest of the worthless scumbag active killers out there. So let's make fun of them and let's immediately kill them and bring them terrible pain, right? So one thing I'd like to pass on to the lefties, those who are really against guns and violence, uh, you guys would be this is terrifying to you, some guy like that. That's not terrifying to me. I am 0% intimidated by that dirtbag. In, in fact, there's something in my spirit that's kind of like, ooh, it's game time. I've trained for this. And I travel around always with guns and... It's meme time. It's meme time. That's right. It's Sam, meme time. how many guns do you think we have in the truck right now? All of them. No, seriously, count them up. Uh, one gun. At least two, six. Three. Plus. Yeah, I'm, I'm, th I'm coming up with seven right now, just all on us. And we're no threat to the public. We love the public. We're men of mercy, warrior poets. We pose no one any threat unless they're a threat to the innocent. We're defenders. And so really all it takes is, hey, lefties, sub out security to the American populace that are built like us, to federal law enforcement, to the military, and to the millions of civilians out there that are armed and ready. Guys, Make sure that you're carrying all the time so that if this comes to your neighborhood, you're immediately able to put these jokers down so that we can make terrible memes about how unsuccessful and pathetic they really are, right? Anyway. And we can make great memes to exalt the guys who dirt nap the bad guys and so that you go down in history as the hero and he gets forgotten. That's our little plan, but I wanted to have a little bit of a celebration that this guy did in fact get dirt napped immediately, that a lot of innocent people that would have been killed were not killed because good guys with guns stood in the mix and were ready to defend those uh, those innocents with guns. Way to go, guys. For our parts, train hard, train smart. People need you.